Before we start today's video, let's quickly discuss a little about the upcoming US intelligence report on hundreds of unexplained UFO sightings. The upcoming probe into potential sightings of extraterrestrial life by the US intelligence service has the whole world excited. But Congressman Tim Burchett reckons it will just be another cover-up. The congressman said that those in charge of investigating the possibility of alien life think the public is too naive to be made aware of extraterrestrial entities. It's about power. Most people believe there's something else out there. They just don't believe the average person can handle it, he added. But we would like to differ here. The public has all the right to know what is going on in their world. A world that is being run by their tax money. When the Raswell incident happened, the public did not break into a chaos. There was excitement, yes. A feeling of accomplishment or discovery, if you will. The discovery of extraterrestrial life will not just be an achievement for an organization, but for the entire humanity. But having said that, the government has several secrets which can be justified to an extent. But when you see a footage like this, and your best answer to it is optical illusion, then you are severely underestimating the common people. We will wait for the US intelligence service to come out with the report. Until then, our quest goes on. Welcome to Lab 360. It's time to explore. Located at Groom Lake in the middle of the barren desert of Southern Nevada, Area 51 is a US Air Force installation that has become infamous for a speculated connection with unidentified flying objects. Conspiracy theories surrounding the base suggest that it is used for the testing of alien technology recovered from supposed crash sites, like the famous one in Roswell, New Mexico. Also, the fact that the base was a secret for many years and is still inaccessible to the general public doesn't help its reputation either. But we are not here to talk about what it is and what it isn't. We will instead talk about what has been seen around it. The year is 1994, and we are at the Nevada Test and Training Range, which provides the US a flexible, realistic, and multi-dimensional battle space to conduct testing tactics development and advanced training in support of its national interests. An Air Force tracking station is stalking the airspace above it, when suddenly, its cameras capture something mysterious. The 12-minute video quickly gains everyone's interest. It is around midnight, and you can see the moon causing the bright lens flare. The craft appears to be of undefined shape, thermodynamics and origin. Its movement is so irregular that it isn't like any technology we possessed back in the day. What's fascinating is that the object doesn't appear to have wings or blades or anything that keeps it airbound. Is it a weather balloon, a bird, or some technology from the United States adversaries? Normally, we would give it a thought, but let's not forget that this object is directly hovering above Area 51, one of the most guarded places on this planet. Nothing can fly over Area 51 as it has been recognized as a no-fly zone. So what is this object? And why did it take the officials by surprise? Let us know in the comments below while we move on to the next in the list. It's March 2004. The location, Campeche, Mexico. A Mexican surveillance plan is patrolling along the Gulf of Mexico conducting routine anti-drug trafficking vigilance when its infrared camera captures something strange. 11 unidentified flying objects in the skies over southern Campeche. They appeared to be flying at an altitude of about 11,500 feet. When the jets stopped following the objects, they disappeared. A Defense Department spokesman confirmed later that the videotape was filmed by members of the Mexican Air Force. Till date, the Mexican government has not been able to crack the case. Well, that makes two of us. The next in the list gives me goosebumps. Not only because it disappears right in front of us, 
but also the way it leaves no trail behind. This one is from July 2019. US military ships are conducting military exercises when suddenly they feel something monitoring Guam, something of unknown origin. Footage shows a dark spherical object flying over the ocean as seen through an infrared camera at night. The sphere appears to move rapidly across the screen before stopping and slowly easing down into the water. When the object appears to dive into the ocean. Focus splash, splashed. Mark bearing and range. The footage was recorded off a monitor inside the USS Omaha's Combat Information Center and a few military members can be heard remarking on the object in the video. There were at least 14 solid objects measuring about 2 meters wide and they moved at varying speeds between 74 to 254 kilometers per hour, according to an intelligence briefing. The Pentagon has confirmed that the video is real and under review by the UAP task force. But what appears to be so strange about this incident is that the object splashed into the water and then disappeared. The US military immediately launched a submarine search of the area, but found nothing. No wreckage found. None of the unknown craft were recovered. Whatever this is, it seems to have that one thing most of the UFO sightings have, the water connection. According to estimates, 75% of the UFO sightings happen near a water body. In one of our previous videos, we had explained that if these UFOs actually belong to aliens, then water might be the only common thing between us and them. And hence water makes the perfect hideout if someone was trying to not display their presence. That is because we have only explored 5% of our oceans. We know more about the Martian surface than we know about our aqua. And this footage that we are going to show you will blow your mind. Because not only is this the strangest UFO captured till date, but it also shows the unidentified object split into two in real time as they were getting recorded. August 2013, they're at massive speeds, zipped through the ocean and split into two. The location, Aguadilla, Puerto Rico. The US Customs and Border Patrol took off for routine mission. Shortly afterwards, they saw a strange light coming towards them. Taken off guard, the pilot immediately turns on the thermal imaging camera. The million dollar camera mounted on the plane immediately picked up the culprit. A metallic sphere chafing the air as it moves at an incredible speed. Then, as if the plot playing itself a cliche, the object headed over to the ocean. Let's zoom in and get a clear understanding of what's going on in here. We can see here that the object splashes down and disappears under the water for a split second. And then, Something bizarre happens. The object re-emerges, but it's split into two. Let's watch it in slow motion. After staying in the air for some time, the object suddenly disappeared, never to be spotted again. When experts reviewed the footage, they found out that the thermal signatures of the object doesn't match with anything that we know of. Balloons, birds, drones, or even a man-made aircraft was ruled out due to the object's strange characteristics. Whatever it was, experts concluded it wasn't from any place here on Earth. Bizarre, right? We have seen a lot of UFO footages, but nothing like this one. Imagine an alien race that possesses such technology. What else are they capable of? And where does NASA stand in all of this? Well, just to let you all know, NASA isn't saying these mysterious sightings are evidence of extraterrestrial life. The point is that whatever the truth may be, scientists should be able to pursue it as rigorously as any other question without having their reputation or sanity questioned. It is time we let go of the taboo that is associated with reported UFO sightings. Because, the more people talk about UAPs, scientists and military officials hope the closer we can get to explaining them and to mitigating any risk they might pose. 
What do you guys have to say? Drop in your comments below. And don't forget to subscribe to Lab360. Because together, we will explore.